respect. Okay, that. if he said he's not comfortable with it, and I told you, if he said he's not comfortable with it and he gives me three, three good, good reasons, reasons, I wouldn't go. But if you're not hold on, me, hold on, hold on. If you're you saying, oh, my friend, a hoe, or da, 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 my friend, here, no, here, hold on. I, uh, go. I got a really good analogy for y'all. I got a really good one. All right, here. If you, if, if a guy breaks into your house, do you want to have to tell your man in the bed next to you right. to get up and go take care of it? You better. If, if a guy slaps your ass at the club, and do you want your man to take care of it? Do you want to have to tell him to take care of it? No. Same, same question. Would you, have to, would you like to tell your man to do one of those things? No. Would you, how would you feel if you had to tell the man what to do? How would you feel? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how I'm not you... messing with a man that I have to tell. Yeah, okay. How would you feel if you had to do that? You, you wish you wouldn't deal with that man, right? No, how I would you would feel if you had... I would look. I would look at myself like, did I really just say that? He's weak. <laughs> how would you feel if you had to say that to a man? Yeah, no, tell him how yeah. to be a man. Act like you know, not like you slow. You <laughs> how would you feel if you had to do that? We we have no balls. Okay, to really that is how you. men feel when we have to tell women how to be women. Right. That's how we fucking feel in society today. That's men true. automatically have to act a certain fucking way or else you're not going to get shit. Women get to act like fools, fucking clowns. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck, dude. Y'all get to say all types of fucking crazy fuck shit and, and not be women at all. And nobody and nobody says anything to you. But that, that's can I say one today. thing? Once you get a certain age, I think you know your group of friends. Yeah. So but like, it's different when I'm 21 like, and I'm 28. Like I ain't hanging with Kiki and CC. Exactly. Like, like I'm not gonna be going on a girl's trip with a bunch of hoes. Come on now. Then like, like, now. Here, your, hold circle, on. your circle look. Your circle look different. And you can go on go, by boys trip. Yeah. yeah so like, all right. Well, this all goes back to like one thing. But <laughs> one of the one of the original things I asked yeah. about. I originally asked. Is the man the prize? Who's the prize? The man or the woman? And if the high value man is the prize, ladies. If y'all really want to get married, if you really want to have a family, if you really want to have kids, I don't know how many people at this table actually want marriage, actually oh. want to have a family one day. But if you do, and the man is the prize, and he's the one putting the ring on your finger, that's the, that's what then yeah, saying. then basically what I'm saying but is that was you can't need to go conform. Most you got to conform to him. I'm just saying those guys, you got to conform. Not men. So there you like go. Like I said, it's a certain age bracket when you go to girls' trip. Like I said, y'all, age. there's 90% of guys insane. that y'all could choose, and they'll be happy to, to handle all that stuff. But uh, we're going to get to the last part of the show, ladies. Uh, we're at the very end. Um, now, I used to do like a numbers thing. We don't do that anymore. Now, we just like to ask, uh, what did, uh, you know, did you learn anything today? And, you know, what do you think about the show? Would you like to come back? But what did you learn anything new today compared to last time? I know I probably said a lot of the same stuff, so I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I would say that my, my mentality is a lot different from the first time that I came here to Completely, now. Completely, yeah. Um, I still don't inherently agree with everything that you say. I feel like there's 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 a way to project your your ideologies without coming off a certain way mm -hmm. now one thing i've always respected about you is you stay ten toes down on anything that you say i will always respect you for that mm -hmm. whether i agree or disagree and there's a healthy way to debate mm -hmm. and disagree with somebody that you have respect for mm -hmm. so you're somebody i have a good amount of respect for absolutely i don't agree with how you put things but it, it's fine because in my in my own growth in my relationship and as a person in my 30s now like I will say that my mentality towards certain things is definitely different, and I know you mentioned Couples Monday, so I'd love to bring him. Yeah, please do. Oh. I'm so excited that like you actually you did what I I this is the Wait. whole goal of my podcast. You did it. Oh, like watch. seriously, no, yeah. seriously, no. I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really proud of you. Like <laughs> yeah, I, I that's, just that's you, you know how big of a deal I am with that. I don't want women being stuck single forever. So you, well, I, I, I was telling him about you. And I have a theory on why you call it the Purple Podcast, and it's because I've watched enough of your interviews to know you don't side with one particular one over the other. Red pills tend to tend to be the extra, like Andrew Tate, hardcore alpha male rhetoric. Blue pill is more along the lines of like hardcore feminism. You're so but fucking he, smart. <laughs> yeah, you really. But are. I am in the middle. Yes, he is in the middle. He's he has more of a a language you of a what an alpha male would be. Perspective but, of things. Yes, but at, at the same time, I can't lie that and say that everything that he says is incorrect because it's yeah. not. No. Yeah. No, I I really thank you for coming. Yeah. I'm really excited if y'all coming back on Monday for real. You're one of my favorite people to come back, so I appreciate Aww. it. Uh, for uh, for you, um, did you learn anything this time uh, that, that you came? And what did you think about the show? Well, this is my second time, so I mean, I feel like I wouldn't say I'll learn everything, <laughs> something new every time because it's my second time. But I like to come here with an open mind always. Um, How do I, I would... reach these kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I would like to come back only on the weekends or Fridays. 
Okay. But yeah, I enjoy it. No, oh, thank you so much for coming back again. <laughs> Thanks for being on time. You beat everybody here. She was here <laughs> early, guys. Uh, what about you? Uh, did you learn anything new this episode? And uh, what did you think about the show? Would you like to come back? Um, well, the last time I came, I was just stepping into like my womanhood, like really being a woman, actually. And today, I just feel like I learned a lot about myself. Like, I think my answers have changed a lot yeah. and matured so no like honestly like i i think that you're you're right behind her like mm -hmm. you're probably going to snag a really good dude soon especially with that mentality like you just <laughs> like like people can call girls like that pick me's or like all types of derogatory names sometimes because like they want to please or make a man happy but at the end of the day sometimes sometimes that's what's going to make you happy so i mean to, props to you if it ends up working out um for for you what did you learn anything today um uh what do you think about the show would you like to come back um i love the show i would definitely love to come back um did i learn anything no i, I might have got you on one of the first points i, I might have got you on one of the first i already knew everything i mean long i mean i didn't agree with the you can't go on no girls trip yeah yeah yeah, yeah that one she's gonna die on that hill guys no, she's gonna, not about to tell me i can't go on my home die. girls unless if okay if they if i if he know that they're wild then okay i'm not gonna go but I mean, if you know they He's ladies. Like, are you going with your single we're going girlfriend? Classy. <laughs> we classy. We going. Okay, but but you come back. You're down to come Definitely back. Definitely come back. Thank you I'm so much. You. Uh, what about you, Morelli? Thank you for coming back. Oh uh, yeah, this is um my second time, y'all. <laughs> but uh, I really do think that I did learn something, especially from her. Mm -hmm. She's a very smart woman. Yep. Uh, just because I was raised around men, I already. You don't understand I, men. I, I understand it. I understand like what I need to offer and what men need to offer. I I know what I want, so I'm not gonna be confused on anything. So I think my answers were pretty valid, especially understanding all of these beautiful women and their different perspectives. Um, I don't under I don't really agree. I agree to disagree with some of them. Yeah. But they had all very valid reasons. Yeah. No, good job. And and you're gonna come back again for me? Most definitely. Yeah, you gotta come back for the Wednesday shows, the single, the, the single shows. Oh, most definitely. And whenever I find a, one of my boyfriends. Yeah, you're coming back. You Not come. one of my most definitely gonna come back. Dude, she she brought one the last I'm time, y'all. Hey, he wasn't even my boyfriend. He well, was she a was hoe. a simp. Yeah. <laughs> we, we we had a simp up here just because she brought him. It was pretty funny. Uh, what, what what about you though? Did you learn anything this episode? Uh, th 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 thank you for coming back again. Uh, uh, would you like to come back again after this one? Of course. Um, did I learn anything? Not really. I feel like I have a very good open mind and Everybody's a good perspective different. on dating and like all that. I'm just on a dating scene because really I want to. Yeah. Um, have fun. Yeah. I mean, hey, this last, is the greatest last time. Last year in my 20s, I may as five. well. Okay. The, but no, I um I do want to get into a relationship. I'm just not going to rush it. But I do have a few candidates. So. Yeah. Make sure, uh, I mean, I, I give out all the sauce when I do this show. Like, I literally give out everything that a woman has to do to, like, lock. And I've had some girls come and hit me up and girl. lock down. Like, I had a girl from, like, a, a few weeks ago who came on, and she used some of the tips I gave her. And she's locking down a dude that is a multimillionaire right now. And it's like. We love that and, for her. And, 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 and it's because. Sheesh. And it's because of the. Comp she literally told me. She was like, it was the complimentary thing. And I did. And I asked him if he needed any help with his work. And he's worshiping me now. And I was like, that's fucking crazy. That was the chick that brought her boyfriend up here like two weeks ago or so. Oh, I'm Sorry. talking about the other one. Not 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 her. There's oh, another okay. girl, bro. I haven't even sent you the, this one's DMs. But yeah. Like this. Like, yeah. So if y'all take some of this advice, man. Sometimes it does work. I'm not going to say all of it works or anything like that. But. There are some girls that are taking this advice and it's working. Um, what about you? Did you learn anything? Would you like to come back? What do you think? Yeah, no, I would love to come back just to discuss and, you know, for my input. It was always good to hear other people, like, inspiration is what they say. So, you know, you can't ever go wrong when another girl is telling you something, even though you don't want to hear it. So I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, good job. What about you? Uh, I, you I did learn a lot. Lauren with her st statistics, I um, <laughs> everyone in their opinions, and I also learned that I'm a two. So you know what it does. <laughs> I never ah! called y'all a two. The person oh. on here, yeah, he was a hater. Oh. But he was a hater though. He knows. He knows. He knows. Hey, y'all are all tens at this table, queens. Y'all are all tens. I'm Don't. a twenty. Yeah, she, yeah, she's double. Act like you know. Her. Her. Um, <laughs> let me read those last super chats, bro. I saw a prayer. We got <laughs> hey, I'm you, nervous. Sergio, you're prettier when you don't talk. Yes. Ah. Oh, he's talking about the, the one in Spanish, the super oh. chat, the last one prior to it. Oh, hey. really? Oh, yeah. Oh. 
uh, Jose, a girl with coat, just regretting that hot ass coat right now. <laughs> I'm not high. I'm not high. I'm I mean, she hot, but she ain't high. Hot. Jose, I, I, I've seen Jose before. Jose, relax, Jose. Jose with the five. Ladies, listen to surgery. It's been facts. Women lead other women to burn and crash. Good yes. Night. Misery you know. does love company, ladies. Good Be night. careful about that. You got to surround yourself with good energy. Good people. Good well, I'm, so, so, so here's another thing I like to talk about, guys like 90 percent of people ain't shit today i'm just being completely honest 90 percent of people aren't good people like they're just not they're, the, they're not successful they're not good it's just most people are, are we live in a very hedonistic society where people are very much living their pleasure and if you put yourself in in circles like you know like all uh, uh, like what do they always say a birds of a flock, flock together you know birds you're going them. to become whatever you're a part of so me personally I avoid friend groups like crazy. Like I've had a paintball wow. team that I was very like good friends with. Um, right now I have a good solid group of men that I'm friends with that helped me do this podcast and stuff. As long but as you don't go no gosh trip, we good. I, 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 I honestly don't. Shout out to everybody who's in the cabin. Podcast. Podcast. Take out the cabin. I, I will say that I don't. If go I go on cabin. any trips, it's going to be with my girl because Ooh. she deserves it. And that's all that matters to me is my girl. She's, we love she's you. The one I that, love it. She's the one that's going to be there with me when I'm 80, 90 years old by my I deathbed. I love it. Alexa, play when friends. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's why I, I care You're a lot about You're beautiful. Uh, Jonathan, <laughs> man, respect the search. These girls are wild. And I'm going to speak to any of them just based on looks. He at least giving them a platform. He's giving them so much and they don't even see it. Uh, dude, some women really do see it and they respect me a lot and they send a lot of really good messages and stuff. And I think some of these girls really do respect it, man. So no, uh, like it's, it's just a matter of time, bro. I, I tell, I say this all the time on the show. It depends on your relationships, think. Hey, man, but, but 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 bro, have have faith, man, because every panel we're sh we're proving something that Dallas women are different from Miami women for one. And we're different. And, I'm and, way and, different. I'm from Ohio. I'm from the Midwest. I'm from the Midwest. It's different over there. I'm gonna have a husband by tomorrow. Hey, we're from the Midwest. All right, uh, five dollars from Eric G. Say a prayer for Sergio's hair. The way these women are behaving, his hair is going to start turning gray. I don't want to lose my life. <laughs> hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.